Oh, right. That was awful. Never gonna do that again till I do it again. Oh. Ugh. When is it gonna show up that I'm live so I can post on Discord? My God. All right, I'm gonna go ping everyone on my Discord server. Everyone, live, live. All right. Hello, everyone. It is time yet again for us to hunt the fish. Now, look. Um, I would like to say, when it comes to the fish, I, oh, I did the tasks off stream. So basically, I don't have to do them and we can just hop straight into it. It's another fishing thing, so it's gonna be a little time consuming, but hey, it is what it is. God, there's a fly! Whatever. But yeah, what's up? It's a menace? I'd assume it's good. It seems very good. You have a battler with five tiki. I don't. Uh, in my opinion, that task seems point. That seems pointless. Is the ribbon axolotl good? From what I've heard, it sucks. From what I've heard, it's not good. Zapoira, Girasera, Grufflin, Infernus, Libelago, and Wolfreeze. That sounds like something I would use. And I don't know if that's an insult. Scarf down. Yo, I'm about to come up with a new meta. Also, I just realized I am by accident um, lethal. It's a good support, but it's, what's wrong with mind types? How did monks wait? Is that mon how did you get in here? I need to unfriend you, bro. How does he get in here? I'm gonna unfriend this guy. Man's insane. Don't know how we got in here. Unfriend him and friend you. Real. <clears throat> Ribble is horrible. Its abilities suck. Only good to think about it is Lewis Prayer and B Summon. Just does he get B Summon? Wait, does that have B Summon? One and a Krillian. I have Overkrill with me. Any giveaways? I don't think I'm doing giveaways. Not that I know of. What are we naming the fish? I might just name it Food Fish. Like Loki might just go Food Fish. It gets B Summon. Yeah, the way better B Summon setters. Yeah, it doesn't seem they'd be that good. It'll probably be getting a buff. I guess it's a support. Does it have a hit and run? I saw something like that, but I don't know if that was real or not. How old am I? I'm 18. He's just not ignorant. Name it Conqueror of the World. Honestly, just give it Scram? Maybe. Lewis Prayer Scram is really good, but I guess that depends if what you're scramming into. Hmm once the health because if they're full health like they could just predict you going for scram lewis prayer because i mean to make something unpredictable it needs to um not have just one thing that it does you know i don't know if that makes sense but look if something is regulated to just having a single usage you know then it's gonna be easy to predict what it does you know it's kind of like Metacro- Metacro is a good example of this, where it has so much that it can actually do, right? Metacro has so many things that it can do, but you never know what it is until it's being used. That's a surprise factor. And what do you mean Jirsera is unpredictable? If you can't predict a Jirsera, you're not good at the game. 
Geocera is incredibly simple to figure out what it's going to do. <laughs> if you can't figure out what a Geocera does, mm, you're struggling. Geocera is very predictable. Name it Chocolate Fish. So I run Max Speed Ruby Tiki. True. How to predict a fruit toad. Switch into a poison type and then predict him using takeout. That's how to stop a fruit toad. I'm about to run glutton glute fruit toad just to like counter other fruit toads. It's the worst doodle for PvP in my opinion. Caramello. Maybe. I guess that just depends, like, who like is actually the worst. Maybe the new thing, I don't really know. What is that fish? It's the food fish. Don't slander Caramello. I mean, I think... I don't know. That was the first thing that came to my head. You know? Does Lumaline deserve bright lights? Yes. No, wait. Not bright lights. No, I thought I said night light. Yes, it deserves night light, not bright lights. Lumaline with bright lights uh, would be an interesting thing. Does this kill? It does. Okay. Magikarp, but more edible. Don't they, like, say that they have cooked Magikarp in the Pokemon games sometimes? How am I doing this fine evening? I'm doing good. I just got done playing Arcane Lineage, and I was like, I'm gonna hop on Doodle World, do the stream. I'm gonna do the same thing tomorrow, too. I'm gonna go do the Axolotl's tasks, chain for an a, a misprint. Wait, isn't the... Isn't the normal ability better? Because the, the hidden trait's like basic care. You're immune to basic moves, right? So it's utterly terrible. What's new? Not much. Not a whole lot. I play the strongest battlegrounds. I'm not big on the battlegrounds games. I'm not gonna lie. Hello, Ready Bear. Hidden trait's water absorb. Well, hidden trait for the uh, axolotl is um, the basic care. I mean, Natural Cure is always a really good ability. You should stream fighting. That just depends, like, if I want to play it. I kind of got bored of the Frenzy. I'm not going to lie, the Frenzy kind of sucked. I didn't really like it. Rebottle tries to be... J looks so badly, but it just doesn't work. Wait, I'll figure out what Ribbonaudle does. Offensive or defensive food fish? Kind of a mix of both. The set I have in mind for it um, is going to be interesting. Because it can do a lot for your team. But then it's the last move, which I think is a little bit of a controversial one. But I'm probably going to use it anyway, because I don't care. Why does Tiki Pog... Here's what the Axolotl does. Nothing. Seam Knight or Cro Kronos? Kronos. I would fight a Kronos over a Seam Knight. At least with Kronos, you can kill it. I hate protecting moves. I'm not gonna lie. I feel like protection is, is overrated, you know? Just don't use protection and hope for the best when you're battling. It. Saying that out loud... And rethinking what I just said, I feel like I could have phrased that a little bit differently. But regardless, I don't like pr protecting moves. I don't. I think they're dumb. Just a fly on your room and your your there's a fly on your wall and you're sleeping on the couch oh what's the most no skill duel in your opinion i want everyone i'm gonna count down from three and i want everyone to say exactly what you know i'm gonna answer are you ready three two one. I'm gonna let the chat answer the question because I have talked about it enough. I have talked about it enough. 
<laughs> I am not bringing up the stupidity of Seam Knight. It's so dumb. Seam Knight. Look, have you ever seen a good Seam Knight player? No, because they don't exist. You can't be good with Seam Knight. It, it does one. It's so beginner friendly. I would just recommend using Seam Knight if you're starting out in PvP. It will definitely help you and carry a lot of your games, but it's just so boring. You know? I would use it just if I was starting out in the game. Because if you're starting out in the game, you don't want to use the super complicated things, right? You know? Springling is brain dead to use. Yeah, getting something that's frail and dies in any one hit on the field is is, is dumb. It's brain dead. I'm not saying it's not. Springling is pretty good. But I wouldn't consider it on the brain dead tier. I'd think of it as easy to use. Because Springling is not at all hard to use. I don't think anyone's going to disagree with that. Springling is either going to use Entangling Vines or it's going to be Hidden Strength. It's one of the two. Anything else, it's just bad. Is any metal type good? Is metal any good? I use it, but I don't know how decent it is. Well, Metal Lytra or the metal typing itself? Because now I need to know that. Is four attack Hanger Fist with Ruby better than three with Warcry? No. In my opinion. Metal Lytra. Um, I think Metal is cool. Um, I think Warcry is just better on Hanger Fist. One boost, you could sweep a whole team. Most brain dead Lumion, in your opinion. Oh, Dragodine. <laughs> you don't have to think when you just click Egg Storm. Click, click Draco Beam. What are they gonna do? You're gonna get plus two? Cool. Break their entire team. It's not hard. That or maybe a Sidragon. Sidragon doesn't take a brain cell to play. It's just figure out what the moveset it is. It's more brain dead. Dragodine or Seam Knight? It's a good question. Because. You're asking... No, that's a bad example, actually. Because you're asking me to pick between an offensive brain dead thing or a defensive brain dead thing. And that's just asking which play style I think is better. Because that doesn't really work there, you know? You have to ask which defensive thing I don't... Uh, I think is brain dead. Which, if I was to pick between Obsidigon and Seam Knight, I'd probably say Seam Knight. I would just go with Seam Knight. Um, Obsidragon is really, really good, but I think as of recent, it's gotten more counterplay, and again, you can beat it, but it would just take a lot, you know, but with Seam Knight, it's just annoying. Is Hyper Offense good in Doodle World? I honestly like offensive play, but, dang, like, the meta right now is preventing me from really using what I really want to use. Which I'm kind of sad about. The meta kind of sucks right now. Like, I think everyone will agree that the meta right now, it just sucks. You know? <clears throat> oh my god, I one time fought someone, and this, this was really fun. This was off stream. I think it was during the beginning of um, my Doodle World journey. But someone, um, someone was using... It, it was something... And it had subterfuge, right? So he uses subterfuge. And I'm like, whoa, what does that move do? So I go research it on the wiki and it, it, it tells me it's fake out. I'm like, oh, okay, that's fake out. And then I get hit with like, like a what? So he uses protect right after. And I'm like, okay. Then he uses subterfuge again. And I'm like, is this guy okay? Cause that's not how, that's not how it works. And I didn't even kill him. Then he protected again. And then proceeded to click subterfuge again. I was so confused. No, it, it failed, monks. It failed. <laughs> it failed. It didn't work. He proceeded to click a failing subterfuge twice. I actually used to have a rival... Um, during the beginning of my Doodle World journey. I know, I know. Shocking, right? But, um, 
I had I had someone that was actually pretty um, frequent. I would see them in Doodle World. The name I'll just call them Bacon. I think they know who they are. You got you know who you are. It was Bacon. And um, he, I think it was the clan. What was the clan that I fought? I remember there was a clan I was fought. He was in it, and when I beat him in a video. The clan, the clan leader saw the video and kicked the guy off the team because I beat him. And then I, I proceeded to battle the bacon guy again, which is where I learned this information. And then um, I beat him again. And then I didn't hear from the clan in a while. And then I about a week later, I find him in another showcase. I'm like, all right, I'll battle him. And do you want to know what he said? He, I asked him, how's the clan? And he told me. He said, the leader disbanded it after you beat the entire clan. Because I didn't mention I fought the entire clan and beat them all. He disbanded the clan. <laughs> <laughs> Bruh, it was so funny. <laughs> and this is it. This is, oh wait, no. This was really funny. No, oh my god. Oh my god. I need to tell you this. This is actually such a... F oh my god, I love this freaking story. So, a while back, I was actually in... Uh, still am in a Lumion Legacy professional PvP team. I know. I was asked to join one. Absolutely insane. But, um... I was asked to join, and I said, sure, it could have been fun. So, I, I lost my first battle, and then I went into my second battle, right? And this is what happened. I, 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 this, I'm, this is a real story, by the way. This actually happened. So, I asked to battle him, and he goes, okay, when? And I'm like, well, when are you free? And he's like, any time. So, I'm like, okay, would tomorrow at this time work? And he's like, yeah, we'll see. I'm available pretty much all the time. So I'm like, okay. So I tell my teammates, hey guys, I'm gonna go battle him. And the day comes and I ask him, are you ready to battle? And he's like, no. And I'm like, why? And he ghosts me. So I'm sitting there like, huh? So I, out of curiosity, I scroll up in, in my DMs. He edited the message he said that told me that he was available at any time to say, I'm available most of the time. So I was like, what? And the deadline was in two days. So I was like, dude, let's just battle. It's it, just battle. And he refused to battle me. I, he refused to do it, right? So I told my, my um, clan members and they were like, then just go claim the win. So I DM'd a mod and explained what was happening. And he's like, okay, if he doesn't battle you today, we you, you can claim. And I DM'd the guy I was supposed to battle. And I, I told him, hey, um, I'm going to end up claiming this win if you don't battle today because you said you would today. And he was like, what? Oh, wait, am I freaking walled? Wait. Oh, crap. Wait. I, I probably should have seen this coming. Crap. I don't have any move that can do uh whatever but yeah anyway so after that um i tell him well i'm gonna claim the win you said you battle today and he's like oh nah you ain't getting the win that easily and i was like well do you want to battle and he's like give me 20 minutes so he goes and does something for like 20 minutes right and he comes back do you want to know what happened we do our battle, and he explicitly tells me, All right, Speeder, I have I have timer stalled you for as long as I possibly could. Let's battle. So apparently he was aware about what he was doing. And I was like, but, 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 huh? I was just really confused, and I didn't understand it. I thought, I guess I was getting into the competitive side of LL. So then, this is what happens. <clears throat> we battle. And I was using an ace Theo team. Theo managed to kill, let's say, two of his Lumians. And it was down to Elephage 
versus in versus Infernix. I was Elephage, he was Infernix. I had Flash and Flea, I did not have Magnify. But he was low. I go for a high roll. I admit I did not get the high roll. He Phoenix, he Phoenix Flames, right? And no joke, we're stuck in this 1v1 for like a solid 10 minutes. I would flash and flee three times, he clicks Phoenix Flame. I flash and flee three times, he clicks Phoenix Flame. He kept doing that over and over. And he he couldn't win. He was not able to win. He could not win. He was not able to win. But he kept stalling for as long as he possibly could. But then I crit him. While he rested. And then I crit him again. <laughs> I double crit the guy. And I won the game. He instantly left the game. He instantly left, left the game. And do you want to know what happened right after that? Do you want to know what happened right after that? He left the competitive Lumion Legacy server because people were clowning on him for losing. <laughs> it was really funny because this man timer stalls till the last freaking day. And then we do our battle. He loses. Everyone was clowning him. Everyone was clowning him. It was so funny. And that was the last battle I ever did. I did do one other battle. It was against Warm Colonel, which I'm fairly certain I ended up winning. I forget about what happened with that, but I did end up winning that. But, yeah, I my record is 1-2. to two, So, come on. Let's go. 1-2 to two in competitive LL. I got it. But, yeah, that was probably my greatest competitive story I've ever had in LL. Because it was just so funny. This guy stalled for so long just to lose and get bullied out of the server. <laughs> Fun fact, our team was the most hated because we had the most wins. We, we were like, I'm not kidding. Out of every set that we won, we were flawless. We did not lose one set. And we were planning on winning and then LL got dry and they stopped doing battles and I'm still in the team and we're still winning. But I'll, it'll forever be known. I'm not going to mention the name because I'm fairly certain I still remember who it was. I'm not going to mention who it was, but you know who you are. And you know that. You know what happened that day. Yeah, but that was absolutely fantastic and one of the greatest experiences I've ever had. It made my day. This guy that just wasted everyone's time and lost immediately was it's just so funny. What happened to Alvin the Protagon? I just haven't done LL in a while. Alvin's still around. <clears throat> I'm trying to think of another story that I could tell. But that was just a really funny story. Oh! I have another one. This is actually... This actually happened in the official Wish Z tournament. Which made me want to drop out of the tournament because I got so demotivated after that happened. This is actually why I dropped out of the tournament. And I don't think many people actually know why I did. But basically... At the second official Wish Z Discord tournament that happened, um, I, I entered it and I was I was gonna I was gonna pop off. I was ready. So, um, the most recent tournament, yeah, the most recent Wish Z tournament. But basically, um, what ended up happening? I go into I go into my first round one battle. I win 2-0. It was not a hard battle at all. It was just a bunch of traders trying to get their the, the like the champion Chronos, right? That's basically what it was. So, <clears throat> that happens, and my second battle comes. I won't drop any names, because I'm, I'm pretty sure people could track down who it was, you know? Actually, now you're going to know who it was. I said the second battle. But now you can track down who it was, but whoever. Whatever. But basically, what happened with that person is... I know Monks is going right now and looking for him, but regardless. So... We, we start our battle, right? And I ask him, wouldn't it be a good time for you to battle? And he's like, uh, mm, 
I don't know. And I'm like, well, I'm available anytime. And he's like, okay. And <clears throat> so nothing happens after that. So he DMs me later that day like, okay, I can battle. Man, it's like 10 p.m. for me. I'm about to die of sleep deprivation. Not really. But I was about to die of sleep deprivation. So I was like, okay, let's have our battle. So I joined Social Park and we start. To Actually, it wasn't that late. It was like 7. Um, but we go to our battle. We get into the battle and I record the entire thing, right? I record the whole thing. I win the battle. And I say GG in DMs. And he's like... And I, I see nine, I see like 10 new messages from him. Right? And he's like, dude, join. Dude, join. Battle. Dude, battle me. Come on, what are you doing? And I'm like, what? We just battled. I accepted the wrong freaking invite. I, I asked the dude, is this you? And he said, yes. And I then I confirmed a chat. And he said, yes. This dude was pranking me. I was getting pranked by some guy that didn't even know it was an official tournament battle. It was so, it was, it was horrible. And I hated that, but I got pranked. So we go into our second battle, right? We go into, into the second battle, but he tells me, Hey, I can't actually make it to this battle. And I'm like, what? and he's like, I got to go. So we go. And now here is an important part of this of this story are you ready this is when recolors were just made and mine was one of the newest ones made you can probably see where this is going the guy i was fighting was a traitor not a traitor a traitor the next day i wake up with dms from him asking me this exact question hey um if i dropped out of the tournament and let you move on would you give me a recolor <laughs> i immediately said no immediately said no and he's like hmm okay and then i screenshotted the evidence and sent it to a mod right and they said that he's disqualified but i wanted to humble this kid i wanted to humble him so the mod said immediately that he was disqualified and i told him no we're doing our battle and we're go i'm going to win i won 4-0 and we said gg and we parted ways but that ruined my entire tournament vibe immediately ruined it i don't know what it was but after that i was in such a sad mood because i realized like people were obsessing so much over a recolored content creator skin it made it like i hated it i i didn't really like the recolors because i was getting dms every day of people asking, like hey can i write your name 20 million times on a google doc for your recolor and i'm like no don't do that to yourself. And he, they, I, I just didn't, it didn't stop. I don't know who started that trend, but I hate it. I don't know who did it, but it was just a dumb trend. And people were just doing insane challenges for recolors. And I'm sitting there like, you can have one, but I can't give it to everyone. <laughs> Bye, monks. But yeah. Oh, can you freaking be a, a different color, a skin, different skin tone? Regardless. But... I, I did I over time the hype of recolors kind of fell off but dude it was so demotivating at the time dude I hated it I don't hate whoever started it I hate that it happened because like I get you want to do fun challenges but you really can't go ask other people if they can do those exact same challenges I keep getting them I got one of them today I, I got one of them today. Someone asked me. They said, hey, can I go release three misprint hidden trait triple tint springlings for your recolor? And I was like, what? I was just like, what? I was so confused. 
I didn't understand. And it's just it's so weird. If you want one, just ask me. And if I respond, good for you. Sometimes I don't respond. Sometimes I do. I don't know. But I thought it was just ballistic. I've also been gaslit into giving a recolor away. I didn't give it away, but they were trying to gaslight me. Basically, what happened is I got a DM. And uh, they were like, hey, I know the recolor stuff just came out. But I've been a really big fan of you for a very, very long time. And I, just I don't want to recolor at all. I just hope that you're having a really good time. And I say, aw, thank you. And they're like, they're like, yeah. And then um, they DM me like um, another, uh, like a day later saying like, hey, um, it's my friend's birthday tomorrow. Do you think I could get a recolor? I just, I didn't know if it actually was his birthday, but I had a feeling it was planned. It was planned. I'm telling you, it was a planned freaking assault. Who, who, what, what are the odds of that? Giveaway or the, a recall if, you, if I get the fish. It's just kind of crazy, I won't lie. It, it's just kind of a little crazy. Recolor stuff is just, is just, I'm glad it died. The hype of, of the recolors kind of died down. It's, I, I clearly, yeah, I you, but thank you game. You think on the mono melee? Um, that's gonna happen whenever I don't have anything else to do. Or if I don't have any ideas. That's literally what I do the mono thing for. If I have no clue what I'm gonna do that day, I'm like, okay, I'll do a mono showcase because those are easy to do. Eight and third. Okay. Low key? We're gonna get this misprint. We're gonna get this early. I just realized I don't have Juluminous. It just clicked with me. Fish the only encounter in the sweets, yes. Uh I did block him in game. I need to unblock him eventually. <clears throat> like at first I didn't block him, then I just blocked him immediately. No, I'm kidding. I'm just kidding. I would never, I don't block people very often. I only block Mewtwo players. <clears throat> well, TFK, I, um, sometimes you say things that I don't particularly like. Like sometimes when I'm trying to showcase something, um, you'll just, it's odd. This is a weird way I feel about how people communicate with some certain things they say. I mean, I play Mewtwo because my team needs me to play it. I, plus, I like how Y, how you two Y plays, but hey, I'm not proud of it. They're just, like, when people have showcase suggestions, they do not word it in a way where it wants me to use it. Sometimes, like, they will say things like, why are you going to use that? Use this. It's so much better. Your set sucks. You know, like, in a way where I don't want to do it, you know? Plus, I don't really like when people tell me what to do. <laughs> it's not that I don't take suggestions. I'll take suggestions. But the fun of the game is me making the build myself and putting my own spin on it rather than just taking something from someone entirely. I've done that a few times. But there are just some points where, like, hey, I will accept the criticism, but don't be rude about it. They don't like my builds because I'm a YouTuber. Th that's, I guarantee you that's the only reason. Ask anyone. Because I make videos. I, 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 I'm so convinced at this point that, that that is the reason. I think it all roots back to LL because a, a lot of uh, Doodle World PvP players are from LL.
I'm not kidding. I once got, I what someone once called me Lord Speeder Sonic V. I was so disturbed. I was, I was very disturbed. Like, they were really like, praise Lord Speeder Sonic V. I was, I was like, mm. <laughs> I left the game. Didn't I literally credit you in that video, though? I literally credited you in the video. I said my friend TFK made a, made a video on it, too. And then I linked it in the description. I literally credited you for making it. Because I thought it was a cool combo. Oh my god, that reminds, me, that reminds me of another funny story that happened to me. Do you guys remember Gastrio? That's a name that I don't think many people know about it. That's a story that I, that's a person I don't think many people know about. But Gastrio was an LL YouTuber back when I was starting to get popular. And, um, it was, I'll explain who he is. He was a gr aspiring and growing LL YouTuber. I actually did know about him because at the time one of my friends, uh, uh, they told me about him. And this is around like when I had like 900, 1000 something subs, right? So this is a while back. But, um, basically we were, um... He was asked to do a, a, uh, yo, hold on, there's no way, again, the first one, ain't no, <laughs> the first misprint I get, Oh no! Don't tell Sling. <laughs> Don't tell Sling. Sling took 400 chain to get it. It took Sling 400 chain and seven misprint six stars. <laughs> and I got one of my first one. Ah. <laughs> uh. Anyway. Continuing the story while I go like level this thing up and we go uh, Get everything done with it. So Gastio was a smaller little youtuber than I was at the time He had a, about it was about a 400 600 500 uh, subscriber deficit. It's been a long time ago and um, We did um, and um, I knew at the time he, I, I had a, at the time I was kind of paranoid with who I talked to because I knew that people could take advantage of me, which it did happen eventually, but that's a story for another time, right? So, um, there, um, there we were. He DMs me, and he, and I'm like, let's set up a collab. Let's do it. So, me, me and Arx had done a collab. That's, that's when I'm going to be introduced to Arx. And I was like, ooh, I could be friends with Gastrio, too. Nope. But, basically what happened, we did our collab, and we did everything, and it was fun. And... Fun fact, we recorded a Minecraft video together, but it was so bland, I hated it. I don't know what it was, but something about the environment and the energy that I was getting, I did not like it. Like, it felt like there was tension that wasn't really being talked about, which I, I was just like, hmm, I don't want to be here anymore. So I just decided, yeah, I'm not going to upload that. And then he wanted to make an LLSMP and I could invite like our mentee and Jamie. Keep in mind, I only had like a thousand subs at this point. I was not that popular, you know? I wasn't the, the big boy. And that, at the time, seemed impossible. But we did our collab and everything was fine. And afterward, I made a video on nightmarish... Metronet and Metronet is actually my favorite legendary in Lumi Legacy. I don't know why but I just fell in love with it I remember I literally grinded for over three hours to try to get I grinded for like so long like three hours a day trying to get a secret ability, right? and um, I, I did eventually get it But it was foolish nimble because at the time I didn't know how harmonized dust gets worked and I didn't have a pure nimble dust kit, but what happened is 
after the uh, whole. I don't have spring there right there. After we. What was I talking about? Yeah, the Nightmarish Metronet. So he made a Nightmarish Metronet video, and I am being 100% honest. I did not know, but he made his own Nightmarish Metronet video the exact same day I uploaded mine. And we, ours were about five hours apart. But I did not watch. I did not know it was there. I literally did not know that he had made a video on it. So when I uploaded it, I got DM'd and he said, <sighs> well, looks like you stole my content, but hey, I guess it is what it is. Bigger YouTubers will steal from smaller ones because they won't get noticed. So obviously I was getting gaslit, right? So I was like, mm. I said, I'm sorry that I didn't realize that he actually made a video because I didn't know, right? I didn't know at the time. So I checked his channel, saw that he did make one. So I copied his video link and put his in my description. So he could, he could also say like, oh, so yeah, someone else made one too, right? So basically after that, nothing really happened between us. Then our random box battle video happened, right? And we, it was fun there, but I knew he wanted to win. I knew he wanted to win. I could just tell. I, I had a feeling he was uh, slightly um, jealous about what happened to me that I kind of blew up and he blew up. He had expressed his discomfort or how much he doesn't like me multiple times. I knew he was just using, I know he was just using me at this time. Like, I know he was just using me at, th at this point. I know. Like, and I, at the time, uh, was oblivious to it. I just kind of wanted to hang out with new people because of what was happening with YouTube, right? So we did our box battle. On my channel, I won, and on his channel, I won. But I don't think he actually uploaded the video on his channel, which makes sense. There's some battles that I don't upload because, you know, there are videos that I don't upload because I lost a lot. I remember there's one point where I was losing like every single time and I was so demotivated, but I sat through it and I got through it. But basically, after all that, um, we finished our we finished our battles and stuff and i ended up winning and that was that and he had actually dm'd me a few times before but uh he actually dm'd me a few times after the bo box battle video came out but at that time i was like i realized what he had been saying and that i was just being manipulated to be being used so instead of gastrio i hung out with arcs which to this day, I think was a very good decision because Arx is awesome. But, um, basically, he had DM'd me a few times. I had kind of ghosted him because I didn't really want to talk to him anymore. And then he sent me this super long message. And he just, this is, this is what he said. Uh, he said, I have a proposal for you. If you teach me how to edit, or if I teach you how to edit, you will give me clout. And at this point, his channel was staying in one spot, and mine was growing at a rap. At this point, I was at like two, two k, three k, somewhere around there, and this had just happened. So he he wanted me to promote him for um him teaching me how to edit. So eventually, I just learned to edit on my own, you know. But after that. Um, I declined. I said, no, no, thank you. And he tried to communicate with me a few times after that, but I just didn't want to talk to him. Right. And then he sends, he sends me like this message and he says, all right, I know you can see this message. Why are you ghosting me? If you don't, if you don't want to talk to me, just say so. I hate when people ghost me. It's childish and stupid. I wanted to be your friend, but clearly this isn't working out. Something along those lines. It has been like three years, man three years xp share is not on it's a visual bug see but yeah it was just uh an oddity I, I, at the time i mean it was very it was at at this point i'm like yeah he just wanted me because i was getting popular he was just gonna he was just using me i know that like at the time i know that this point uh okay defense or magical defense 
Uh, I think you're, uh, which one is higher? Gastio. Yeah, yeah, I just did explain the whole Gastio thing again. Uh, defense is lower, magical defense is higher. Defense is fine. I'm gonna get that HP now. I'll just stick with defense for now. Okay, sick. I got it instantly. Okay. Uh... Okay. Oh yeah, look, I finally got these things, dude. Check it out, I finally did it. This is a really good equipment. Why do I not use aviator helmet more? Check it out, guys. The best set in the entire game. Objectively. So yeah. Very, it was an interesting... A very interesting experience. I've had a lot of interesting experiences in my LL days. You know? Like... The most recent one being the recolor situation that I thought I just I just hated. Like I did not like the fact that I was just being used for someone wanting to get a recolor. It was just awful. I got gaslit in the past. This is a story about like my 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 the, the depression arc of Speeder Sonic V. You know. I have since learned with the help of friends to. Uh, be have a little bit of thicker skin not really take what everyone says to heart I it's just always been something I've always done is usually take what people say you know take it to heart even if it's like a joke I usually just say it glasses can I get a skin XP boost let's go <clears throat> my depression art yep Are you willing to talk about your unmoded your animation for Doodle World era? The I no, it's not Doodle World that's the problem. It's the genre. You know, you can only do Pokemon battles for so long before you're like, uh, yeah, guys, let's. They're gonna go into their Girasera. Let's just click Fireball and get it over with. You know, there are points, but right now I'm feeling kind of motivated. Doing these tasks and hunting these things has actually been really entertaining, and I've been enjoying it. So. Low key, I might every time something new is introduced, I might do some MHT six star hunts. Yeah, that'd be nice. I think like what would be cool is if there was some kind of ban system in Doodle World. I don't know, like weekly bans, so ranked is a bit different. You know, like figure out what's the most like top ten most used thing and then ban it, and then like on the weekends you can ban like two things. I don't know. I, I think ranked has a lot of potential to fix what's wrong with PvP. For me, it's just that it's repetitive, and right now it's so... The meta is so boring, dude. It's so boring. There are things I want to try. Like, there's a team I'm wanting to make that's like Party Bug plus Springling, because I awaken, get 10% more attack. That's essentially, technically, if you want to think about it, 20% more power on Springling. Um, but... If you want to think about it in a weird way, because since I have double power, I don't know. But I want to find a way to boost Springlings uh, uh, as much as I possibly can. Like, I could get crit up, you know? I want to do a lot of a lot of things, but the problem with that is they could sound... Things could sound really, really good on paper, but then when you go to actually try them, it can suck, dude. Like, it could be horrible. You could see that something is super good, and you're like, ah, dude... It's gonna be awesome. I have such a fun. T oh. Oh. It sucks. Good to know. Good, good, good to know. Play Pokemon Showdown? I don't know how I feel about the Pokemon meta. I won't lie. Good plan, terrible execution. You can have a plan in your head. You know, you always need to start with what you want something to do. Yeah, my stream's gonna be ending soon. I did not expect to get it that early. It literally took me 30 minutes to find what I was looking for. If I was to give my honest critiques about like, I'm gonna like, I don't think I actually have an Axolotl caught yet. 
Did I catch the axolotl or no? I don't think I did. I'm gonna catch one just so I can, uh, like, put it in the printer to get tickets tomorrow. Yeah, I haven't caught one. <clears throat> I was catching it for a task. Oh, I'm not catching it with a basic castle, that's for sure. Lipo, but different colors, true. Set up lingering poison and abuse lingering poison. The thing with lingering poison is that you need to get rid of poison types first. Because, okay, metal types can't get poison, crystal types can't get poisoned. Cool. You can threaten those. They they have to they they might be immune to it, but heck, you can do something to them, you know? Like use an earth type. Like earth types on poison. Like imagine a poison earth type. Does that exist? Or I don't think poison earth exists. If it did, it'd be used a lot more, right? Yeah, this is gonna be a very, very good, very, very good doodle. -doo. Very, very good. Does poison metal exist? Doodle world? Poison metal. No? Why hit and run over takeout? Um, devour is nice, and you don't really care because you're not trying to do damage, you're just trying to pivot. Plus, you can devour. Oh, Awaken Mothra. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. Um, I knew there was something, but I just didn't know what it was. Um, takeout or hit and run over takeout, I think it's better because, for one, your main stab, uh, takeout would be resisted by plant. And if you can, if uh, plant types want to come in while your food stab, you can hit and run, hit them super effectively. Um, as well as it not being that, it's just better, I think. Because then you can also, you can end up running um, Devour, which gets rid of stat boosts, so you can beat Skadeen a bit easier. Um, and then you should have Earthquake. I think this coverage, honestly, is pretty solid. Wait until Metal Flying type. Metal flying is gonna be very, very good for what's happening. Well, for the meta, it's gonna be pretty good. Until any electric type switches in, though. What computer do you use? Uh, that's a lot to say. It's a custom. If you don't die to Skadeen first, Skadeen A is pretty busted. You know a funny way you could balance Awaken Skadeen? Um. Nerf its magical attack to 90 and make its attack stat 110. So look, if you want to run the magical Skadeen, you're forced to put some magical attack investment so you don't just automatically get a plus one, right? And you also, if you wanted to use a melee set, you're risking being hit by spiky thorns, which then it has to let you use your storm heal more, you know? There's a way you can balance it by not changing what it does, like, at all. Like, not removing any moves. Just slightly nerf it. Right? No, I don't... No, removing snap freeze just makes it bad. Right? I mean, then any water type can beat you. Any water type that has a way to hit you beats you. Like, mold, you would just die immediately, too. Removing moves doesn't usually solve issues. It can. Like, don't get me wrong. Removing moves that don't that are too good on something are definitely a thing you can do. But in this situation, I don't think it needs to happen for Skadeen. I think giving it 110 attack and 90 magical attack would make it would have it not as an indirect nerf, but a tactical nerf where you're now forced to use specific equipments. Because if you're 10% higher magical attack, right? Think about this. If you have 10% higher magical attack, this is going to be, I think this is how the math works here. But 10% higher magical attack means that you, technically your base stat goes from 90 to 99. Because 10% of 90 is 9, right? So you have a 99 attack, magical attack stat and a 110 melee attack stat. So then you, you can't, you actually, you couldn't, you would have to invest, like you go theater mass, which would give you 109, then you go from there. You know, if that's how the math works, then it'd be fine. 
Wait, don't I have a code? For a, 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 a skin? Seeing that Pleepo just reminded me. When will I get back in LL when it updates? It boosts attack whoever's with the stat boost before it awakens. Yeah. Buff two random stats? Oh no. <laughs> no, don't do that. That'd make it even better than it is now. Because any stat that you get on Awakened Skidding would be useful. Literally anything besides accuracy. Like, I, that would just be a buff to it, you know? You never want to buff two stats. That's just busted. Two random stats, but minus two other random stats? Again. That's just adding Moody into the game. You want to give Moody to Skadeen? Incredible balancing by you guys. You guys are really good at this. The Infernius' new trait is like boosting a stat by like 50%, right? Or something like that. And then you can burn on contact. Not really sure. We should be hired for Fairlight World. <laughs> I definitely feel like I've been, I've gotten a lot better with how I balance things because of Fairlight World, which is nice, you know, because I feel like before looking back at my balancing ideas, some of them were not very good, but I've been enlightened and I have seen a way to make things pretty good. Take this trait, 50% from earth type moves. It's a range stat boost. Random. Oh, sick sick it's about to get it's about to get a defense boost and just completely ignore and it's gonna get a defense boost and just be like yeah i'm menacing snarl but i take less damage from earth types should have made snarl rock a part light type yeah they should have i mean technically it's gonna get stabbed on light moves without any drawback soon so can soon you get tsunami with the next key will that be better than rust um that honestly depends do you want to not hit metal types i guess you could uh just like storm heal tsunami rust snap you could do that or i think you want to run gem blast actually because you want to be able to hit electrics you know <laughs> i don't see why you would remove rust though don't you want to hit metals i don't know if that's just me but i think i want to hit metals what awakening am i hoping for an awakening that I am hoping for. Low key, I think we have enough awakenings right now. Um, I think we should focus on making this meta less awful. And two, buff, freaking buff the heck out of Awaken Cack Meow. That thing sucks. Give it 120 speed and 120 offenses each. Make it busted. Awaken Cack Meow deserves it. Stabs being on Wallable are the problem. Then go with the other thing where you nerf it's uh you actually nerf it the base stat of it. Like look, you don't have to change normal skidine at all. Normal skidine is, is fine. But if you change awakened skidine to where it lowers its magical attack stat and boosts its attack stat, it's be gonna be forced to run less bulk and more offense if it wants to get the useful boost, you know? What do you think the artificial runestone belongs to? Heard it belongs to Owl. Probably Owl. I feel like the new artificial runestones are really, really cool. Because that can, it seriously changes how you look at uh, awakenings, you know? Awakening Cacman just needs better moves. Even if it gets better moves, I don't know about it, you know? Listen, if it gets, let's say this. Let's say it gets uh, Poison Punch, um, Earthquake, and a Thousand Needles. Then it's broken as all heck and no one's denying that, right? Like... <laughs> <laughs> Cacmeo having Jirasera coverage without actually having Jirasera coverage is kind of sad, I won't lie. It has Jira coverage already? It's just not, it's not good. What is the trait supposed, I don't know. Why can Cacmeo is so weird to me? Like, it needs stronger moves. I think if it got a better move, it'd be a lot, it'd be a lot better. I don't know, like, the Hypnotal thing? I don't know. Look, this sword looks nothing like Owl. 
right? But we all collectively agreed it belongs to Owl because of Hero Havoc. But how do we know that the artificial rune stone that looks like a parasite sucking your brain out is actually belonging to Hypnodal? I don't know, honestly. Getting seed assault. Yeah, that'll probably help. We need Cacnail and Mythic, easy solution. We need our first Mythic soon. What do you think, what is the duel that you think that needs an Awakening? That needs an Awakening? Like... That actually needs one. Hmm. Let me think. What do I think sucks and needs a buff? I'm deep in thought. Hold on. Oh, Clydeskunk. That's right. Clydeskunk. Sorry, it just clicked with me. Someone just said it in the chat as I looked over. You know, we could do a pyre with cracked version. With cracked version or resolve. The cracked version of Resolve. I mean, then just switch into Fire type and what does it do? It'd be kind of cool to see like a uh, Moss and Mold get um, Awakenings together, you know? Awakened Mold would be really cool to see. Mold is really, really, really good right now, but no one uses it, which I find quite ballistic. Why does no one use Mold? It's so good. I need to get a Stormwater Mold. It's just busted. Well, anyway, I think after that, I'll probably be ending it off. I don't have any more really new stories to tell, but it was fun hanging out with people. But, yeah, hopefully everyone had a good time. I got this thing in 30 minutes, and just saying, no one got nothing on me. It took me 30 minutes to find this MHC 6 star. I'm built different. But, yeah, regardless, hope you all have a fantastic night. Have good dreams, and I will see everyone later. Unless there's a live stream going on, but I, I I severely doubt there's a stream going on right now. Let's let's just see by like, some me is that Scorch? Wow, he's live. Okay, jo go jump Scorch. Here, go everyone collectively annihilate him. I I accident go 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 attack him. Go anyway. Bang.